Hi children, welcome to the YouTube channel EduCup. We have already discussed about the first part from grade 8 science, importance of microorganisms. So, today is our second topic. Effects of microorganisms on food. The growth of some microorganisms on foods make them not suitable for human consumption. So, to observe the effects of the microorganisms on food, we can do this small activity at your home. Let's see what is that. What you have to do, get some food samples like bread, vegetables, fruits, milk or fish, rice, butter in fresh condition. Then observe their nature carefully in fresh. After 24 hours, 28, 48 hours and 72 hours you have to observe their nature. Then tabulate your observation. Here I have done one for you. See, this is the uh, sample of bread slice. From the first, uh, first, first day to uh, fifth day. Can you observe, see the, the nature of the bread slices? Yes. Then I have tabulated that observation in a table food item then some features the nature of the when it is a fresh food after 24 hours then 48 hours then 72 hours okay like that you can continue with other food items also let's see this is the microbial activity on vegetable this is rice, cheese. So the microbial activities change the color, texture, odor, appearance, the taste and the natural nutritional value of food. So again the microbial activities change the color, texture, odor, appearance, taste and nutritional value of the food. Food become unfavorable for consumption due to the change of properties. This is known as spoilage of food. Spoilage of food is become food unfavorable for consumption due to the changes of properties. Consumption means the use usage. Okay. To observe the main reason for food spoilage. Now we are going to observe the main reason for the food spoilage. So, you will need slice of bread, some water, a glass light, flower shape and a microscope. Then you have to do spray some water on slice on bread and keep it for three days. Take some of substance grown on the slice on bread and place on the glass slide. Put a drop of water on it. Cover the slide with the flower shape and observe the slide through the microscope under the low power. You can do it at your school. Here the uh, slice of bread which is which go, the thing grown on the bread. Here you can see the microorganisms uh, through the microscope which grown on the slice on bread. So doing this practical we can discover the main reason for food spoilage is the growth of microorganisms on food 
and realize release their byproducts. The main reason for the food spoilage is growth of microorganisms on food and release their byproducts. Doing that practical, you will observe that there are some fibers like black structures on bread. They are kind of fungi which spoil bread. You can observe that microbial growth causes food spoilage. So, furthermore, study the microbial activity. You can do this small activity. You can do it at home. Let's see what is it. Ah. So, you need these things. Sugar, yeast, a balloon, warm water, a bottle and suitable container. Let's see. Okay, this is the practical with what you have to do. Observe it. This is sugar. Dissolve two spoons of sugar. And one teaspoon of yeast in water. This is the mix of sugar and yeast. Then you have to take 100 milliliter water. Mix the solution well. Leave it for 20 minutes and observe the uh, what it happened inside of the solution. When the sugar and yeast are mixed in the solution, it will bubble and uh, become ver. Can you see the bubble? It, now it's become ver. When you open it, you will smell the odor of alcohol. It is because ethyl alcohol is, is produced due to the activity of yeast in sugar solution. Now, you have to do what? You can... Uh, separate the mixture into another that container i am using this one it is very easy to pour the uh, solution into a bottle by using there's a bot uh, pointed thing is there now it's uh, uh, already uh, there's 100 milliliter water now we have to add another 100 milliliter water into the this container again Now I'm pouring it again. Now fix the balloon to the mouth of the bottle. Now see you can see that balloon is inflate. This is because a gas is produced due to the activity of yeast in sugar solution. The gas produced here is carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is now in the inside of the balloon. Okay. This is happened because of the microbial activity. Okay. Yeast is a key ingredient in bakery products. The activity of yeast forms carbon dioxide and makes uh, dog rise doff means uh, flow ethyl alcohol evaporate during the process of uh, so you can see this pause because of the ethyl uh, carbon dioxide are evaporating by that ease that why the spore these types of spores are uh, we can see on inside of the bread
when the food is exposed to the air microbes act on very easily this is because the environment pro pro uh, provides suitable moisture and temperature for their growth environment pro provides suitable moisture and temperature for their growth microorganisms start to grow rapidly when the moist food item is exposed to an environment with suitable temperature but if the food is refrigerated the microbial activity is minimized because the amount of moisture and temperature when the food is refrigerated the microbial activity is minimized because the amount of moisture and the temperature are controlled in the refrigerator moisture and temperature are the main factors that contribute to microbial activity food spoil rapidly at room temperature this is because room temperature is favorable for the microbial growth the enzymes produced by these microbes change the taste odor color texture nutritional value of the food microbial activities depend on the type of food first one is fermentation microbial activity on food high in sugars leads to fermentation fermentation means microbial activity on food in high sugars leads to fermentation this is food which happen the fermentation second one is putrefaction microbial activity on food high in protein leads to putrefaction next one is transitivity microbial activity on food high in fats leads to rancidity a substrate suitable temperature and ph ranges are the factors for the growth of different microbes the substrate suitable temperature and ph ranges are the factors for the growth of different microbes micro microbes so thank you this is what we have to do for the second part of the lesson let's meet with another uh, video so you can subscribe for my educup channel for more videos thank you